can I tell you that I am in love with Dew Dragon? Just look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Herrera here. I hope that you're all well. Big Bang, again. I am so excited, I cannot get enough. Thank you so much for all of your suggestions. I'm slightly overwhelmed with the amount that I need to catch up on, however, I am gonna take my time. The three songs that I have chosen, the music videos that I have chosen to react to today are Love Song, Bang Bang Bang, and F It. I am not going to say it. Um, this was the only version that I just did not have subtitles. I couldn't find a version with subtitles. I don't know if that's just me, but I'm just going to have to make do with this. I'm very excited. Let's go. What do they have in store for me? Ugh, he's such a mood setter. It's actually no joke. They all are really, really strong. Like, literally, it's like getting a solo artists and then putting them together in a group. That is actually what they sound like. They are so strong individually and then putting them together. Also, I'm really liking this music video. Like, what an image. That will stay with me. I will just, I'll know that this belongs to them. This is that sort of a, an image. Oh, well, I love that. That man, look at the way he stood. He owns this entire world. Look at that physicality. My goodness. The attitude. Oh, what a voice! <laughs> I don't know names. I barely know faces. I know voices. They're all looking different. Oh, what am I supposed to do? I really love this choreography. It really suits them, you know what I mean? Like they're owning the choreography rather than the other way around. Like there's no point getting people to do stuff that just doesn't fit their personalities, but this fits, it fits the song. It's not overpowering. It's not like that they're trying to conform and do like a dance routine. It's just working. It, it just works with the whole feel of everything. Josh, where is he getting that voice from? 
This is such an easy listen. Look at these beauties. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're just going to stand there like supermodels while that happens. Well, he would, wouldn't he? What a statement that whole music video was. My goodness. I love the thought behind that. Like, firstly, I really, really like the music video and the styling the choreography, the kind of slow motion, and they're, them trying to make us think that it's all one take, um, really slick, really sticks in your mind. And the song itself, really easy to listen to, showcases their vocals. Um, I will definitely go and have a look at what the lyrics are all about, but I could just see the hatred of this, these love songs in it, which was quite um, interesting. Yeah, they're not ones to conform, are they? <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> Who even is that? Is that him in the spacesuit as well? I couldn't really see. They were like moving around quite frantically. So I've heard this tiny bit of this song before. This is Big Bang. Right. So I watched a like compilation video and it was like the top songs um, for 10 years. And I swear, like for the first seven of those, Big Bang were all over that. And so I've probably heard like little snippets of lots of these different songs. This definitely sticks in my head because I was just like, whoa, who the hell is this? Um, okay. Didn't I say that I wasn't cool enough to listen to music like this? I'm still gonna say that. Why can I not see his eyes? What's with that hairstyle? Also, what's with them being like outrageously sexy all of a sudden? Like, I just was not looking at them in this sort of way. I'm gonna have to readjust my eyes. Bullet out. 
I've literally given up trying to recognize G-Dragon. I think the only way to recognize him is through his teeth. That's the only way I will ever know which one he is, okay? I mean, obviously I know what he sounds like, but if I'm trying to identify him in a lineup, there's just no chance of that happening because he just changes his look and he just becomes something completely different every single time. One thing I've noticed about him, and I am not making any comparisons, but I want to name people, okay? There is somebody who I feel is quite inspired by G-Dragon and I really like him in his group and his role and his sound and that is I think it's Bobby in Icon and I know that they belong to the same um, label and I feel like Bobby is really um, inspired by G-Dragon and his style I hear a lot of that and I was going to say that G-Dragon sounds like him but actually no it's the other way around isn't it um and I'm not making any comparisons. Everyone is who they are. And that is absolutely fantastic. They are fantastic in their own um, elements, in their own groups, everything like that. But I am hearing a lot of um, a lot of similarities. And I really love that. I love I'm loving both of them. <laughs> How old is this song? Because it sounds fresh. <laughs> freaking different like what the hell is this group I really really just like them and their vibe and their confidence and they're just doing in my opinion whatever the hell they want to do and they don't give a crap about you if you don't like them jog on like and that that's infectious I feel that power through the screen like wow I, I actually do feel empowered just listening to this The energy, the confidence, is there more? No. They've got nothing else to shock me with. Okay, they're done. Um, the energy, it is infectious. They really do make me want to be as free as that. I feel really, like, controlled now. I feel like, wow, if people can be like this, then why the hell can't, can't I be like this? Like, what's stopping me? Do you know what I mean? Like, they make you feel like that. That's really, really nice. It's so attractive. Um, oof! I don't wanna go too fast. No. Cause nothing really lasts. Oh! Yeah. Oh, voice. I think I need some time. But I can't get you off my mind. No, 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 no. Uh. Oh, 
Gosh, even he changes up his voice so much. Are they actually swearing? Someone tell me, please confirm. Are they actually swearing in the song or not? Because if they are, that's just wild. In a in an industry where my intake into it is that everything is very controlled, squeaky clean, um, very judgmental. This is wild. I love you. Girl, I wanna get down. Is this them trying to be cutesy? <laughs> Someone, please, just turn him around, lift up his shirt. I just want to see, does he have something installed on him that is producing this sound? Because where the hell is he getting that from? Like, he doesn't sound like a real human being. That depth, that kind of roboticness. Like, this is weird. I need to go, clearly, and have a listen to them talking, because that's probably going to help me, but it's weird. <laughs> At least he's honest. Ah, that voice. No, I feel like I'm wasting it. I need to go back and just re-listen to that. Because that look, that jacket, that hair, he's kind of always hiding behind that hair, isn't he? But I quite like it. It's mysterious. It's really nice. And then that voice. I bet in real life they're just like cute little beans, aren't they? They're probably going to be like the complete opposite of their stage and like idol persona. They're just going to be like these really cute boys that you could just take home and introduce to your parents and everyone's going to love them, right? No? Am I right? Am I wrong? <laughs> Can I tell you that I am in love with G Dragon? Just look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> they are just unapologetically themselves. I feel like all of their songs are really good for like live performances that you will naturally be like singing along to that. And it's not that they've composed their songs like purposely trying to get that mood. It's just something that works for them and it's their personalities. They have this like combined sound. It's really, really nice. And that's that infectious feel. Imagine them performing like an acoustic version of this. Ah, oh, I'd love it. Girl, I wanna 
<laughs> Boys, I love that. Those were three stellar songs, and I'm getting the feeling that this isn't just me accidentally picking songs that are great, that as I get deeper into this journey, actually all of their songs are going to be great, and maybe if these are title tracks because they've got music videos, that their b-sides are going to be a little bit more raw, and going to show me a little bit more of their personalities as well. Now, this was great. Thank you so much for recommending. And it's great that you see like me sitting on the other end of this. If I'm going away and just listening to songs by myself, it's a completely different experience than me like sitting down and filming a reaction to it. Because as I'm talking through it, pausing, rewinding, I'm like really thinking and I'm really engaging in this content. And I'm learning so much about myself that actually... I find it weird that here are people that I don't know, I will never know, I will most probably never have an opportunity to see them perform live, but I feel this connect. I feel like they have been able to tell me and guide me that like maybe it's okay to be yourself and you need to just stop apologising. Just own it. There's nothing wrong with being who you are or who you want to be. What a bold statement. And that just makes me want to explore their songs more. Tell me about these songs. Tell me about these men. Thank you so much for joining me for that reaction. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to my channel for lots more content. Like the video if you liked it, of course. And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe.